गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू आर वॉचिंग द वीडियोज एंड कम्प्लीटिंग योर होमवर्क सो लास्ट क्लास वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द डिजीजेज द इन्फेक्शियस डिजीज और द नॉन इन्फेक्शियस डिजीज और हाउ दे स्प्रेड टूडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट मीन्स वैन इफ अ पर्सन गेट डिजीज हाउ द डिजीज कैन बी क्योर्ड एंड वॉट आर द प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट सो देयर आर टू वेज टू ट्रीट एन इन्फेक्शियस डिजीज सो दे आर नंबर वन to reduce the effect of the disease and number 2 is the killing of infectious agent so first of all is the reduce the effect of the disease so the treatment reduces the effect of disease without killing the infectious agent this is carried out by two method that is the symptomatic treatment and rest so first is the reduce the effect of disease it means that whatever the effect is there that is to be reduced by this method that is the symptoms which we face whenever the disease is there that symptoms should be reduced that is known as the reduce the effect of the disease so in that first topic is there symptomatic treatment symptomatic treatment means the treatment based on the symptoms so medicines are taken to treat the symptoms of the disease symptoms are related to the infection are generally what uh, symptoms we face when we are having the infection fever pain sneezing coughing loose motions so these are the uh, example of the symptoms which we face when the infectious agent enter in our body so we take the medicine to bring down the fever that is the generally we take the paracetamol to bring down the fever to reduce the pain we use the brufen so these are the general means uh, symptomatic uh, treatment of the disease to control the motion also we take the disease to control the sneezing and coughing anti allergic we are taking so these are the uh, means the medicines which we take on the basis of the symptoms no second topic in that is the bed rest so bed rest is also advised by the doctor so bed rest what means why the doctors advise the bed rest because the bed rest is advised to conserve the energy for making the same available for healing because when we take the bed rest then our energy will be uh, conserved and that energy can be used to fight against the um, infectious agents that enter in our body now next is the killing of infectious agent means how we kill the infectious agent so there are drugs available which block this processes and kill the infectious agent the infectious agent like bacteria viruses fungi helminthes and protozoa are some essential biochemical life processes which are peculiar to their group and non shared with the other groups this process may be the pathway for respiration or synthesis of new substances drugs are also available to block the processes and kill the infectious agent antibiotics are drug which can block the biochemical life process of bacteria without harming human cell so here we are using the antibiotics so antibiotics are the chemicals which are used to kill the germs or the infectious agent that enter inside our body so this and if it is being asked in your examination what is antibiotic so you can write the definition as the chemicals that are produced by the microbes which kill or prevent the growth of the other microbe so whenever we are having the disease so first of all the treatment is based on the symptoms the doctor advises the medicine to take on the basis of the symptoms or the doctor advises us to take the bed rest but still if the uh means the disease is not been cured in that case doctor advise us to take the antibiotics now i think you must have understood what is antibiotics antibiotics are the chemicals which are produced by the microbe which kill or prevent the growth of the other microbe so what happen when we take this antibiotics this antibiotics block the biochemical life process of bacteria without harming human cell in the last class also we have studied about that why it is difficult to make the antiviral drug because already we have seen that bacteria do not share our body mechanism the means whatever the antibiotic we we use to kill them is not been utilized by our body or it does not cause any harm to our body cell so antibiotics are the drugs which can block the biochemical life process of bacteria without harming human cell now next is the viruses 
viruses do not have their own metabolic machinery they enter the cell and use our machinery for their life processes they have only few biochemical mechanism of their own so we can only target this few biochemical mechanism to block the viral growth so already we have studied this topic that viruses as they are not having their own metabolic machinery means they are inactive outside the body but as soon as they enter inside our body they use our machinery they enter the cell and use our machinery for their life processes but they have means uh, so it is very difficult to kill them because when we want to kill them we have to harm our body cell also they have only few biochemical mechanism of their own so we have to target that biochemical mechanism so it is very difficult to make the antiviral drug so i think you must have understood children write down the homework to write the principles of treatment if you have any doubt you can ask through the whatsapp or through the campus care thank you